the idea of being weak. Well, just can't hold on to it. <laughs> when I first came in, I was an 0311. Um, and shortly after the Gulf War, became a uh, scout sniper. But then, of course, as you pin on staff sergeant as an 03XX, then you become an 0369. So for most Warrant Officer MOSs, you put in three to five choices. You can be a sergeant with eight years in the Marine Corps, put in your choices to become a Warrant Officer, and you become a Warrant Officer. For Gunner, you wait 16 years, you have one choice, you're putting 0306 Marine Gunner down, um, and you hope you get selected. The Gunner community is just extremely rare. Uh, we currently have 97 Gunners, we have 103 billets. You have people all the time that have never met a Gunner get pulled off to the side. People just want to take a picture with a Marine gunner because, well, there's only 97 of us actually in the Marine Corps out of 182,000. We go to war, we go on patrols. Um, in a combat environment, the gunner goes on patrol. We're kind of a directed telescope for the battalion commander. Our job is to tell the boss his baby is ugly. Of course, if it's good, it's good. That's really what we bring to the table. There's no degree program required for us. Today's principal question that I received from the Marines of 2nd CEB was regarding suppressors on small arms weapons. Some of the Marines believe that putting the suppressor on the weapon lessens their capability in terms of range and lethality, and today I want to dispel that. Yeah. Marines, this is the part that I think really matters to you and may answer your question. All right, so our baseline is this 10 and a half inch barrel Mark 18 upper receiver. So I'm going to start off by firing unsuppressed. I'm going to fire through this chronograph right here, and it's going to give me the velocity of each shot, and we'll put that up for you to see. Then I'm going to take the same ammunition and the same barrel length and put a conventional blast baffle suppressor onto the end of the barrel and fire five more shots through the suppressor, and you're going to see when you put the suppressor on the weapon, it increases your capability. The only thing is, it gets a few inches longer than it was before. So, let's go ahead and fire the weapon unsuppressed. Now, we are going to fire the same weapon, same barrel length, same ammunition, with a suppressor on. And then we're going to look at the five shot data compared to unsuppressed. And here's your answer for taking the penalty for a suppressor. I think we're going to disprove that myth. As you can see, you don't suffer a effective range or lethality or accuracy penalty by having a suppressor on your weapon. What we covered today was the principal question of putting a suppressor on your weapon and what that does to your capability. It increases your capability. And if nothing else, I want you to walk away with that. It doesn't slow your bullets down. You literally have to use subsonic ammunition to lose that range and lethality capability. And we're not doing that to you. The suppressor's a good thing. It increases your lethality. It makes you harder to kill, and, uh, and you're going to get one here pretty soon. So it's been my pleasure. Send your questions. Put them down here in the comments below, and uh, we will try to do our best to, to answer your questions. Thanks, Marines and Sailors. Have a good one. Semper Fi. So let's collimate the weapon. First things first, 
safety first. So I'm gonna go ahead and ensure this weapon is clear. There is no ammunition in the weapon or in the chamber. Shut the ejection port cover, we're ready to go. The weapon is clear, because I'm gonna to need to insert the small arms collimator into the muzzle, and then go ahead and seat that rubber grommet right up there against the muzzle device. I'm gonna rotate around here so I can see through the RCO. And then I'm gonna go ahead and match up the 100 meter index line or top of the chevron in the RCO to the bottom of the wedge inside here. You can read the instruction manual. Many of you have done this. This is just a refresher. So right now I am center, but I need to adjust the elevation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Move, move, move. And good. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the top of the RCO without damaging it just to make sure the prism is seated. Give it a little bit more fine tuning. And I'm matched up. Top of the chevron to the bottom of the wedge. Rifles collimated. That eliminates the need to do the 25 meter VZO process. Group firing and precisely zeroing your rifle is one of the most critical prep for combat tasks you must conduct. By using an issue small arms collimator and an issue spotting scope, a precise 100 meter zero can be obtained in minutes. Zeroing, when using the correct equipment, can be performed very efficiently. Do not cross the line of departure without a solid proof fire with precise zero. All right, Marines, just to be clear, don't do this with your U.S. Marine Corps issue rifle. I don't recommend it. You might get in some trouble. But this rifle is not a U.S. Marine Corps issue rifle. So we're going to cook some bacon on it. Just to show you how hot your suppressor can get. And I'm hungry. This is a, about as America as you can get right here. Not crispy yet. What do you say? Do we need a little more? Oh, we vaporized it. <laughs> I guess we're not eating today. So now you know. Be careful with your suppressor. It gets hot. Happy